Good morning. Thank you for joining us on this 22nd Sunday of Ordinary Time for Children's Liturgy. We are about to enter a very holy place. It is a place where we will ask God to bless us. We will pray for one another and we will get to know Jesus more than we already do. I will now lead us in with the cross. like to introduce myself. I'm Miss Maggie. This is Miss Shelley. She'll be doing the gospel in just a bit. So I'd like to start like we always start with the sign of the cross in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So the first thing we want to do is we want to look at our prayer table. That's right. So what color cloth do we have again this week? Green, you're right. And green is a sign of growing, yes. A lot of things are green that grow, right, outside. And as part of ordinary time, let's pull our liturgical calendar out. This is our green time of growing. And we are already over here on the 22nd Sunday of the liturgical year. So we're moving past halfway marker now with that. We want to look at something else that's on the table. Who is this? You're right. It's the Good Shepherd. And we know that because he has his sheep on his back. And just like Miss Shelley said last week, who do you think that sheep is? Yes, the sheep represents us, and the shepherd represents Jesus. So now we are going to let Miss Shelley come in to do the gospel. So before we always do our gospel reading, we do a few things verses on our altar. Do so you remember what we do? We have our candle. And why do we light our candle? Yes, because Jesus is the light of the world. That's right. We see lots of candles in church, don't we? We also have our children's lectionary. And the wonderful thing about this is it's made just for children like us. And of course, it's the same that we do in church that our parents are hearing each Sunday made special just for us and right before we read the gospel reading we always do our last gesture our sign of the cross does anybody remember what that is right it's when we make a cross on our forehead and on our lips and over our heart so let's do that together god let me think your word god let me speak your word god let me love your word today's gospel is from mark 7, 1 to 8, 14 to 16, and 21 to 23. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Some Pharisees and several teachers of the law of Moses from Jerusalem came and gathered around Jesus. They noticed that some of his disciples were without first washing their hands. The Pharisees and all the other Jewish people obey the teachings of their ancestors. They always wash their hands in the proper way before eating. Now, we wash our hands, right? Because we want to be safe, especially with what's been going on in the world. But it was actually a law to do that. Like, they had to do that. Uh, we're, we are strongly encouraging you to do it. Um, but that was something that they had said that they must do before they're eating. None of them will eat anything they buy in the market until it is washed. They also follow a lot of other teachings, such as washing cups, pitchers and bowls. The Pharisees and the teachers asked Jesus, why don't your disciples obey what the ancestors has taught us to do? Why do they eat without washing their hands? Jesus called the crowd together again and said, pay attention and try to understand what I mean. The food that you put in your mouth does not make you unclean and unfit to worship God. 
it's the bad words that come out of your mouth are what make you unclean. Out of your heart come evil thoughts, vulgar deeds, stealing, murder, unfaithfulness, in marriage, greed, meanness, deceit, envy, insults, pride, and foolishness. All of these come from your heart and what they make you unfit to worship God. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Wow, when I read those, when it says that you're unfit, I mean, we can think about things that we have done or we have had bad thoughts. Um, and we will all do that. We have to understand that we are not perfect. That there's times that we may have a bad thing that we've said or thought. And Jesus knows what's in our heart. But we have to ask God to forgive us and to know, wow, I don't want to live life like that. I don't want my heart to be mean and say mean things or do things. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of like when we're following the rules. You know, we behave in ways that are unkind, you know, unkind, nasty, or greedy. Um, so our hearts are unpure. God doesn't want that behavior from us. God wants our hearts to be full of kindness and love. And he knows we'll make mistakes. And we know that we will make mistakes too, but that will happen. We need to apologize like, to our parents or to our friends and to know that those unkind moments can happen, but we want to be better. We don't want to do that. We're gonna do a little exercise. I need everybody to close their eyes for me. Can you close your eyes? Now I'm gonna keep mine open because I'm gonna read. But close your eyes and I want you to imagine what's going on in my story today. So when you close your eyes, imagine that Bruce and Joe are in the same class at school. Both boys are very well behaved in class. Their teacher, Miss Amanda, is happy that they both wait their turns. They raise their hands before they speak and they are carefully clean up after lunch and after painting time. Keep those eyes closed and keep thinking. At lunchtime, Bruce asked the little girl next to him about her new puppy and shared his cookie with her. He asked the boy across from him about his favorite superhero show. He noticed that another girl dropped her napkin and he handed it back to her. Joe liked to make sure the teacher saw him being a good boy. He liked to hear Miss Amanda tell the children how tidy his handwriting is and how polite he was being. At lunchtime, Joe pushed another boy out of his way to get the seat he really wanted. He told the little girl across from him that her pigtails looked dumb. Joe saw that another boy dropped a dollar bill out of his pocket. He decided, hey, he dropped it, it's mine. So he put it in his pocket. I found that dollar fair and square. He should have put that dollar in a better place so he didn't lose it. So he said, finders keepers. Sitting down, he smiled at his teacher, hoping he didn't see what just happened. All right, now everybody open your eyes. And which little boy do you think was the sneakiest? Was it Bruce that was helping out the little girl? Picked up the napkin? Nope, it was Joe, wasn't it? So like which little boy was truly kind-hearted? That was, that was Bruce, right? Yeah, Bruce was kind. You know, Joe only wanted to be seen that he was doing good things, but really he didn't really care from what, you know, in his heart. And we might have moments that we're not proud of, but we don't want our hearts to be like that. We need to ask God for forgiveness and, and for others. Um, you know, which little boy would you like to be friends with? Yeah, I would probably pick Bruce, wouldn't I? Bruce would lift me up and make me happy and be a good friend. And we want to be good friends to people. You want to have nice friends. So those that you know might have a moment of Joe in our lives when we're not happy about something or we're doing something kind of mean, we have to remember that God does not want us like that. We want to live like Jesus, and so we want to make sure that you know that we um, have Jesus in our heart, and we're only thinking kindness, and and we will fail. But we need to ask God for forgiveness. Okay, we have Maggie's going to join us for our prayer. Amen. God 
of the covenant from the time of Abraham and Moses until today. You have been faithful to your people. Even when we have wandered far from your ways, you remain close to us to guide us, to protect us, and make us your own people. May your children listen to your word and rejoice to walk in your ways. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Have a great week. Last week. We hope you had an awesome time learning about the Word of God today. We're going to end with a song about Jesus loves. We'll sing the first time through. There's three names to add. We'll do mommies, daddies, and siblings. And then the second time through, you get a chance to add a name. So we're thinking about who you want to shout out at home, who is who you want to pray for, and who Jesus loves. Jesus, Jesus loves mommies, yes, he does, yes, he does. Jesus, Jesus loves daddies, yes, he does, yes, he does. Jesus, Jesus loves siblings, yes, he does, yes, he does. And he wants us to love him too. All right, now you get a chance to sing those names right in the middle. We'll pause and you can shout them at home.